Hello and welcome to the start of one of Sega's, I would say, most iconic, bleh, iconic series that's sadly obscure in the West now. One of the three pioneers of video game RPGs right here, man. So up, uh, let's just start it. This is going to be a rough, but we're going to play, let's play the Fantasy Star series. And there's actually plans, uh, hold up, Space Century 342, um, I didn't miss that, sorry. Scum, do not sniff around in Lajic's affairs, learn this lesson well. Do I have to push a button? Yep. Nero, what happened? Don't die. Alice, listen. Lazik, they changed it to Lazik in Phantasy Star 4, is leading our world to destruction. I tried to discover his plans, but I cannot do much by myself. I have heard of a man named... A man with great strength named Odin. Maybe the two of you can stop Lazik. Alice, it's too late for me. Be strong. I will make sure that my brother died not in vain. Watch over and protect me, Nero. And here we are. Let me turn this down. There's a giant green bar on the side of the screen. Anyway, doesn't even matter. No, it's there no matter what. <laughs> okay. Because this is also, this is the Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection version, so I'm going to abuse the living hell out of the save game and load game feature in this. Alright. Plus, this is all my second time playing this game, so I'm going to be using a guide. Do, 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 do. Do I have to go all the way to the end? No, not yet. These dungeons get pretty damn complicated. Anyway, oh, I forgot I was going to say, though. Crap. There is Fantasy Star, um... Fantasy... There's a treasure chest. Yes. Fifteen to seven. Fantasy Star Online 2 stuff. Uh, TK finally caved and got on the Japanese servers and playing. So I'm gonna try to get that on this computer and see how I, how well it works. Maybe there'll be some Fantasy Star Online 2 content. For now, the Fantasy Star Revolution has begun. We're starting with the original game that started it all. This game isn't that rough as I was gonna imagine it. We got this. In some dungeons, you will not get far without some sort of lights. That's okay. We get a lantern, and that comes pretty useful later on. Pretty sure I mentioned I'm going to be using a guide. Is this the chick that healed me? I am Sulio. Sulo. Ah, oh, Sulo. I know how you must feel, dear. No one can stop you from doing what you know you must do. But if you should ever, ever want to be wounded in battle, come here to rest. Thank go. I gotta remember the controls. B button is the menu. And that is the save feature. Ah, there's my old save file. Let's go with number three, keeping separate. Input my name. Um, can I go... How many spaces? That much. There we go. What the? There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Um. S. R. Oh, screw it. Let's go on original. S. O. N. That's a van. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. There we go. Why not? Be on original. Hopefully my mic is picking me up. Good. You might hear the Xbox in the background too. We got nothing. Really? You got nothing? Well, I got leather armor and a short sword. Oh man, it's gonna be fun. Even though this game is long. All of the games are long. Uh. 
Is that supposed to be sh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be shield. Alright, let's take it. Yeah. Sweet, now we gotta grind. Actually, do you know about the planets of the Algol star system? No, actually I do. There are three planets, Palma, Motovia, and Desilus. They changed that, the names changed so much across the game. Palma is a world of green, Motovia is a world of sand, and Desilus is a world of ice. I'm going to refer everything by their fantasy star four names. The Orgel star system is currently facing a great crisis. Alright, well I need the guide. I only played this game once, the other ones I played at least twice. I know I have to grind. I am Neki. One here, one hears lots of stories, you know, but some say that a fighter named Odin lives in a town called Scion. Also, I have a Lacona pot given by Nero that would be helpful to you in your death. I wish I could help you more. I pray for you. That was random, but thank you. So, I have to grind for money, pretty much. That's fantasy, the classic Fantasy Star games in a nutshell. Well, I'm gonna do this right off the bat now. We'll save over here. Now for the grinding, which most of it's gonna be done off screen, off camera and stuff. Tuck! Tuck! I need to stop mashing the A button so much, this is not Fantasy Star 2. Oh, there's two of them though, that's why. Die! Four experience points, and a treasure chest. Six in the setup. I need 75 according to the guide to at least get a new sword. That's okay, but we gotta go back and heal up already. This is pretty much the reason why I don't like playing Pokemon games anymore. Grind! It's not fun! Fantasy Star games ain't that challenging. <coughs> Sweet! Same spot too! Scorpion! Man, these sound effects get bad when you um, get a gun. These guys might kill me. Run! Holy crap, the run feature actually worked. It really works in these games. Or at least the first three, four, it's alright. Once again, I should probably, I didn't want uh, I don't look forward to doing the grinding part off camera, honestly. Random fact! Alice Landale is one of the first female protagonists in video game history. If I would say the second. Only beaten by Samus from Metroid. Random, another random ass fact I came across. Just taught, looking into this series. That I've recently become a fan of. Three, yay! God, money is such an issue in these games. Whoops, wrong button. Um, this game only came out two days after Final Fantasy did in, in Japan. So they can't call it a ripoff of Final Fantasy. Where's my money? 29 out of 75. Alright, that isn't bad. Actually, I said I'm gonna abuse this, I'm going to abuse it, especially in dungeons. In fact, I'm gonna be borderline cheating. And probably avoiding a lot of fights in dungeons when I don't feel like dealing with it. Do, do, do. Two swords. Oh yeah, this is also one of the very first game RPGs that have animated enemies on screen. Boom. Boom. 
I win. Suck it. Six minutes to die. Time to heal. Thanks for free healing, my lady. It's gonna be a boring episode because it's grinding for money. If you couldn't tell already. Me. He's actually kicking my ass. One's dead finally. And two's dead. Six Mancetta. Eh. Six health. 41 to set up. Isn't it telling me how much I have left till I level up? Let's search. Oh. It's been a while. Once again, time to heal. Again, the scorpions. Do I have any magic yet? No. Do we risk it? We risk it. And now we run. Oh, it works. The run feature actually works. It's an, it doesn't work half the time in Phantasy Star 2 and 3. Or it feels like it doesn't. You're so weak in the beginning of these games. Of course I start off by myself. The other the rest of the games you actually get well Phantasy Star 3 you start off by yourself. Well, never mind. Two and four you start off with team members. We should we get in we should get in a team member very soon. I just need 75 Mesetta. And this game only gives me like four or five at a time. Three! Less than four. Four, four. God, this is gonna take forever. This is gonna take a whole part. Can I at least get my team member yet? Run right away. Let me look at the guide. Iron sword. Now you want. This guy wants me to get. Okay. When do I get my first team member guide? Apparently not for a while, lovely. I'm gonna do a lot of off-screen grinding. Good. A lot, because this person wanted me to get 320 in the center. <laughs> and this is how slow it's taking to get 75. Yay! Level up! Six. Nice. How much health do I have? Wrong button again. Six. Now I'm going to heal. That's actually a pretty catchy song. <laughs> Safety save. That's gonna be a long last play, man. 
the next couple months is pretty much me nothing but fantasy star. Of course, I have the Xbox hookup. I'm gonna record a music mix up since I have the opportunity to record. Yeah, I got 20 health now. Good guy. Keep giving me six. Sell your sword sword, really? Health check. Ah, we can go for another fight. I'm not even looking at the screen at this point. Oh, goody. No, run away. Not until I get a better sword. Because I survived that fight. I should probably turn the TV down and might hear that. And then you'll probably hear the damn Xbox going crazy, or the disc spinning in the Xbox. Once you reach 320 to set up. Three. 320. Purchase titanium sword, then sell off your iron sword. No, wow! So much off-screen grinding I'm gonna have to do. So much off screen grinding. 300 and six. Jeez. I might as well not even record the next part until I'm at least that far. And how much money do I got? 59. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm not going to be recording the next part for the next hour. I mean, I might as well go straight for the 320. Yeah, screw that. I need a better sword to get more money. Chess, don't be booby trapped. Yay. <clears throat> Four experience and a treasure chest. Now I must go heal. Take the long way around to do that. That's again. 71. Oh, we're so close. So close. And it took the entire episode. I wasn't looking forward to, but the rest of the series will be fun. There are six minutes of time inside. There! Should have enough. Check. 77. Yeah. Alright. We're going to end this part getting a new weapon.
What do you got to say, buddy? There is an underground passage to the Gothic Forest, somewhere to the west of Parolit. Parolit. To the east lies a port town called Simon. Give me your iron sword, sir. There's a 320 coming in, the titan titanium sword. No. Which one of you is the second hand shop? You? First food shop? No. So I have to equip it first, never mind. Makes sense. Attack of 22, defense of 19, max HP of 20. And two missiles to my name! Iron sword, leather armor, leather shield. Okay, now uh, you can give me money. Fifteen. No, 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 no. We must go back. Actually, let's talk to the people. In the spaceport, you can go to Peso on Motovia. Do you visit that place in Phantom Star 4? Pretty sure you do. I'll have to try to pay attention when I get to Phantom Star 4. There's a house, I would say. Medusa has been reborn and lives in, ca in a cave to the south. If you see her, you will be turned to stone. She does not live in a cave to the south. In fact, you don't fight her to the very end of the game. Well, not the very end. She's like... The second to the last final boss? It's her, then Lajic, and then the final boss. To the east lies the port- Oh yeah, I think I already did that one. Back to that one lady's house to free heal. And then end this episode and come back after grinding for an hour. Because that's gonna be what I'm be doing. Yay! Uneventful episode. Sorry! Do that every time. All right. Well, I'm ending this part here, and I'll be back after I've grinded to like 900 Mazetta. Right. Cause I have to go to about the Iron Sword. Once you reach 300 Mazetta, return to Portland and purchase a titanium sword. Yeah. 920 Mazetta is where I have to grind to. Oh, joy! Well, thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye.